Welcome back to Let's Play Alien Isolation. I'm Burning Dog Face. And we're trusting a disembodied voice and getting on this elevator. Hello? Forget the door. The marshals locked everything down. Use the vent. isn't, you know, creepy at all. <laughs> Can't even tell the screen went dark. Oh fuck, I can't get out. Oh, that's how that feels. Dropping down from the vents, I mean. Hyper-evolved knees, I guess. And so it deals with it. Had to blink for a second there as the intensity of the light changed. Pharmax medical bandages. gonna do this in case you turn out to be a murderer or something. I'm Coleman. Ripley, I need to find a doctor. I'm a doctor. My friend needs help. Medical supplies. Me too. There are no supplies on this level. But there are plenty downstairs in the hospital dispensary. How do we get there? We? Do I look like I'm in any fit state? I need your help and you need mine. You find the passcode for the service elevator, and then I'll come down to the hospital with you, okay? Passcode? Yeah. I can direct you from here. Morley or Lingard would have had the new passcode. Morley's office is your best bet. I get it. Son of a bitch. Not him. I don't blame him. Look. He's locked himself in, and there's no vent in there. He's sealed himself in there, because the alien is lurking around. Hmm. 
With a 70s aesthetic in mind, it's kind of surprising more people I've seen don't have long hair. I really like that there's just a split second of, uh... Wait, what's the assessment room? I don't know if it's a Qbert. Um, sorry, hadn't swallowed in a bit. My mouth filled up with uh, lozenge juice. So this is in, oh, I guess it is November. Uh, I don't know that that would be the jo most Julius product I would try to sell. I don't hear Tommy lurking around. Sorry, don't mind me. the only way out. It's just an event, okay. I'm missing something. Just saying. If anything, there's going to be an appropriate uh, summary of this game. Okay. That one? Okay. But I don't get it. That's locked. I can't get through his office because there's no door. This is not a door at all.
There doesn't seem to be any way I can reach that. Yeah, just look at my doctor's office. There's no way to get there from the front room. So, um... You got any tips? Oh. Psychiatric ward. Great. Let's work together, huh? Mutual benefit. Banter! My lozenge drapper said, uh, march forward. But today I feel like that would make too much noise. I keep, I keep hearing that noise in the background. I thought it, over a while that it was just the violins of tension. But, uh... I don't know what it is. I guess it's just some machine. You can hear it basically anywhere since we're on a space station. I wonder if that's supposed to be so quiet. Oh yeah, he's dead. Too low to be a chest burster. Besides, I don't think he'd be in the standard civilian area. Tragic, tragic cases. Far from the rhythms of Earth, sunrise, sunset, the mind has a tendency to wander. Tragic cases. But Morley wasted far too much time on coddling them. They should never have come here. None of us should. This place had such promise when I first came here. It's a tragedy. A waste of my talents.
I hear that save room and I want to save, but this feels like a room where something important happens. Okay, I guess he really was just saying that's the wrong way. I'm supposed to do- oh my god, please don't go that way. relaying soothing thoughts, I think. Is that this guy's tag? No. C. Burroughs, rest in peace. Oh. That's a hole in his face. He was killed by Tommy. the nursing station locked. Awesome. Now I get it. I'm thinking Tommy might chase me in here. So that happened. But, uh... to me that if I lock both, if I lock that door behind me, I'll just be trapped in here forever. Well, at the moment. few seconds. Fuck it! That's right. I love God, he's gonna call it into that fucking noise. I just know it. should be 
in there somewhere. Tell you what, if I do this, and Tommy appears, I'll just lock myself in the locker again, and then quit there, so that next time I can just load and go right back here. How's that sound? Uh, low on meds. Dr. Lingard, we need more supplies of mood stimulants up here. We're getting really low, and it doesn't help that Coleman seems to be handing them out like candy. Logs show that he's been in the dispensary 16 times this week. We need to start rationing medication. Sevastopol Sevastopol's people are only going to need these more and more the closer we get to shutdown. Can you talk to Coleman, find out where these prescriptions are going? Senior management eyes only. Warning. San Cristobal. Medical facility quarantine breach detected. Warning. Relax. Medical facility I'm just quarantine to find out breach what detected. That is. You focus on finding that keycard. Shit. Hospital quarantine for senior management uh, Lingard for senior management eyes only. San Cristobal. Medical facility quarantine active. Entrance to primary care deck now limited to marshals and senior staff. Universal facility passcode 1702. Systems will scan for potential quarantine breaches every 15 minutes. An outpost of progress, number three. I think I'm missing one. Uh, by Julia Jones. A troubled population. For better or worse, the right to bear arms followed us into colonial space. Alone, vulnerable, and light years from law enforcement, who could deny our voyagers a way to defend themselves, their ships, and their families? The flip side of this argument is Sevastopol, where gun crime is rampant. Endlessly turning circles in a neglected corner of space, its people are downbeat and disconsolate. Those who could afford to leave did so years ago, abandoning friends and neighbors among empty stores, creaking systems, and the forgotten dreams of the deep space economic boom. Sevastopol's people feel deceived. Tempted here by corporations that refuse to recognize the deep space bubble was about to burst. Oh, it was about to burst. They are angry, desperate, and increasingly divided. Recent colonial martial clampdowns oops, on the. Come on. Recent colonial martial clampdowns on the black market have increased resentment. Every day it feels as if the station has edged a little closer to freefall. September 12th, 2137. Well, the good news is Tommy isn't right in front of me. Bad news is he's certainly here. But at least, hey, we made it a whole session of it being eaten. So there's that. I'm Burning Dogface, and I'll see you in the next episode of Let's Play Alien Isolation. Only set out and try to find Dr. Morley's keycard. Later!